Hello everyone, this is Richard, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a new mod that I just recently wrote called the Coffee and Tea Mod. As you can see, these are the new plants it adds. I just had them in a few different states, but um, this lighter leaves here with no fruit on them whatsoever are the tea leaves. As you can see, these are going to be the tea bushes, and these are um, the coffee bushes or coffee plants. And basically, I did some research on it, and actually, um, coffee plants produce this kind of bright red looking fruit that um, people almost um, confuse with cherries sometimes and basically when you harvest them from it you get like two or three coffee beans inside of each of those so as you can see they're just in different states these are actually all finished growing both of these and these are still growing so I think I might finish growing them real quick with some bone meal and while I'm doing that I'll quickly show the creative tab for it. It just has everything that added in this mod. Right now the mod doesn't have much more than coffee and tea but I'll expand it probably later and um, I'll grab some bone meal right now. And I'll also still be working on my um, old mod, the recipe expansion pack. I'm not quitting that, I'm just I have another mod too. So this is what the fully grown state of the tea leaves looks like. So I'll just grow them all now, and this is a coffee bush. As you can see, it then gets the um, the dark red, or now that, that's finished, because the bright red is the finished state. So we will quickly just drop that. I'm going to switch back into survival and show you guys, because I have in my inventory, as you can see in that bottom bar, I have everything required to make it, excluding the plants. And you get the seeds from the plants just like you do in many mods from grass seeds. Like you see, I just got a tea seed right now. And there's actually a specific um, type of plant I base the tea um, things off. I'll probably put that, or I'll base the tea plants off of. I'll probably put that as like a reference or something in the um, mod thread, which will probably be a link in the description. So I'm going to harvest these real quick. And that's odd. It didn't drop it. Oh, there it does. It does. It. There's some glitch where it sometimes drops it far away. I'll work on fixing that eventually. We've got 10 coffee beans, as you can see now. It drops the tea leaves over there which you only get four per let me go quickly and get those back and those coffee beans so basically you'll notice the coffee beans are grayish and I am basically that means they're unroasted the traditional kind of uh, coffee beans you think of that are brownish are actually roasted so we have to roast these real quick then and we put them in a furnace and so that will make it into the darker brown version. Obviously you don't have to do that with the leaves. So while that is running, I will construct some of the other things that I need. First of all, we're going to need a cup, as you can probably guess. And I'll probably make the recipe for this harder later, but in the beginning I just made it pretty simple. You just need three clay in a bucket kind of shape, the same shape as the bucket recipe for iron, and it makes an empty cup. And this is what you'll obviously put the coffee or tea in. You can put either in it. And you can actually place it on the ground and it looks pretty cool. I did a, like a pretty cool 3D model for it, I thought. And I also made the collision box so you can walk on it. Like if I press F5, you'll notice my character is actually perfectly standing on the top of it. That actually took a while to set the um, collision detection bounds to be that exact area. So we need to get eight roasted coffee beans in order to make um, one cup of coffee. So I'm just going to wait for these but we're gonna need to fill this cup with water actually while we wait because obviously you'll need water and probably later I'll make it so it requires a boiling so you need to get the water boiling whoops I don't know why it thought I placed it there but if you right click the water it just turns it into a cup of water and hopefully we have the roasted beans now yeah so next we need to basically grind these beans and since I'm trying to keep this mod in a medieval setting I'm not gonna make a coffee grinder machine or anything so what you can do is make a use a mortar and pestle which basically is like a bowl and then a um, stick that's used for grinding people still use it today but it was mostly originally used in medieval times and so you can see here that makes it and then you put it in the crafting table and it'll actually turn these into coffee grounds and basically it'll damage it for each one you do so you can see one by one it slowly damages the durability so now we have eight coffee grounds and if I actually click F3 and H and this isn't part of the mod this is part of vanilla minecraft so now I clicked F3 and H and let's close the F3 menu it basically shows the durability of something so you can see now it's down to 56 of 64 so you may have to make these fairly frequently it can only make eight cups of coffee before it breaks 
but the recipe is pretty cheap. It's only two iron and three stone, so it shouldn't be that bad. So now we can actually make our cup of coffee. We have everything we need. So we have our cup of water. We can put our coffee grounds around here. And you can see we have a full cup of coffee. And then you place this on the ground, which I maybe alluded to when I placed the cup on the ground. And it's like a cake. You can drink from it. And you see now we have a half cup of coffee there. And it gives you a potion effect, and it heals two hunger bars. I don't know if I was down any hunger, so I don't know if you guys got to see that, but it gives you speed too as well. And coffee gives you speed too, and um, tea gives you regeneration too. Both give it to you for eight minutes per sip. So it's actually pretty good. That's why I'm probably going to make it harder to make, uh, harder make in future versions of this mod. But for now, I figured this would do for a um, demonstration. So basically now, even though it looks like a full cup of coffee, it's actually a half cup of coffee. I just didn't know how to make it look different than an empty cup. Otherwise, unless the cup was transparent, it wouldn't really work. But now if I place it back down, you see it's still half cup of coffee. But you can only drink this while it's placed on the ground. But So it's basically like a cake in that regard, but it's like a cake you can pick back up. That's the idea. So we're just going to actually finish drinking this so I can show the tea real quick and then we'll pick this back up now we have an empty cup and we need to fill it with water so now that we have our cup of water we can bring it back and put surround it in our tea leaves also I'm not the greatest artist so if you guys have any like images if you want to like do better artwork or contribute any artwork to the mod feel free to do so because I really need to replace these this are kinda of just temp I mean I think it looks pretty okay but it doesn't look great so yeah, again, if you have anyone, if you know anyone or you are a good artist and can do a 16 by 16 tea leaf that looks better than this or um, a tea seed that looks better than this, though this is actually based on the same tea plant that I did. But yeah, now we have a full cup of tea. And we can put this down. You see it's slightly different color. I didn't know exactly what to color the tea, but it's kind of a honey color more. So if we right click now, you'll see we have regeneration too as well. So. If I were to go take damage, say jump maybe on this tree over here, don't know a good place that I could fall from. Well, this will take damage. Not much, but I'll take like half. Or I thought, oh, it's only three. I thought it was four. Well, I can make it four. <laughs> but let's see if I place that there. You see how quickly it regenerates. Basically, every time that um, the hearts raise up in that line, like there, then um, is when you would regenerate. So regeneration too means you regenerate quite fast. So I think that's basically it for this mod this current in this current version. And um, in the video, if you have any suggestions, please tell me because I've been working pretty much the last week on this mod. Um, like maybe about five, six days it took me to make this. So yeah, I'm going to set the time back today since it might be dark in the YouTube video. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, feel free to give them for new ideas related to this. And um, if you can contribute artwork, please feel free to. So yeah, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoy the mod. Tell me what you think in the comments, either on like the forum thread or the YouTube video, or if it's um, it's going to be on Planet Minecraft too. So tell me there as well. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Richard.